welcome to another episode of the Beer Show with me, your host, John, who um, really isn't as smart as you think he is. Anyways, today's offering comes from a brewery called Leifman's Brewery. Technically, or maybe Leifman's. Probably Leifman's because it's uh, Bavarian. Leifman's Brewery was actually founded in the 1600s. 16, the 1600s. 1679 to be exact. Sadly, though, in the late 2000s, or not late 2000s, but early 2000s, 2008, they, um... Oh, a little bit of light dimming from the wind. Look at that. Uh, sadly, in 2008, Lifeman's was uh, considered was bankrupt, basically, and bought out by another brewery. Luckily, their brews continue to be made, and to this day, they still make brews. They still make different uh, wheat beers. Today's offering is a Lambeck by them. It comes wrapped in a fancy little... Uh, plastic bag? Plastic bag. Oh, wax paper. Okay. And it's uh, another champagne-style, wine-style bottle. And uh, it's an ale, it's a Lambeck. It's 8% alcohol per, you know, bottle. And uh, we're gonna try it out, see how it is. So uh, let's get this, let's get this opened up and see what it's like. Now, I've heard good things about it. My uncle actually got me this for my for my birthday. He's tried it before, thought I'd like it. Let's see if I can maybe not break anything open in the thing. I pointed at Arturo who's typing his blog right now. Don't kiss my ass. And. Uh, there we go. Should just let it fly. Oh, now see, it smells. It smells like you smell. A, you can smell. There's some berries in it. I'm not sure what berries go into lambic offhand. I always forget, which makes me a horrible beer person. But since I love drinking beer, I still consider myself a, drink, a beer person. So let's pour it. See what it's like. It's not super dark. It's a medium, probably medium body. I think, Junior. I think, Mikey. Yeah. Medium color, right? Yeah, I would say so. A little, little dark, but not, not too dark. Not like a stout or anything like that. It looks chocolatey. Are you insane? It looks chocolatey to me. Again, this looks chocolatey. This looks chocolatey. I mean, it looks caramely. You're drunk. I'd say it looks more like caramel. <laughs> like, because it's kind of a, I mean, it's a dark brown. It's not black. Chocolatey would be more like dark, dark black. Or dark, 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 dark brown. I mean a chocolatey beer. Chocolatey beers are good. Uh, There's an awesome chocolate stout out there. And today, Art, who's writing his blog, is joining us, and he wants to try some. Sure, why the hell not? So let me give Junior, let me give Mikey his, my faithful cameraman. <clears throat> Still say it looks chocolatey. I don't think so. I think it's more of a caramel color. Gentlemen, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Don't even do that. Things are more bitter tone to it. More bitter, more dry. It's kind of dry. Uh, not too bad. Not as sweet as I expected for a Lambic. I expected it to be a little sweeter. By the way, FYI, Art's not a beer person, so most beer he's tried, he doesn't like no matter what. No, not all, but most. Yeah. most. You did like that Allagash White. Yeah, that, you were on that episode. You liked that one a lot. You know what, but I can only drink that so much even before I get sick of it. Well, yeah, I mean, that's like anything. Hold on. But it's got a nice, uh, it's not too bad. It's got a nice bouquet to it when you smell it. It's got not, a nice flavor. It tastes like a champagne, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, and that's the thing, too. You know, we've had, me and Mikey have had this discussion. This is 8% alcohol. It's in a champagne kind of bottle, wine kind of bottle. I you know, at what, at, at what point does beer become something other than beer? It's because kind of like a hybrid. The thing is, yeah, because when you're, adding, when you're adding fruit to it. It tastes like champagne. Yeah, when you're adding fruit to beer, you're, I mean, Fruit is what you ferment to make wine, usually grapes. But I mean, but uh, you know what? To be honest, as lambics go, it's good. It's uh, it'll get you, it'll get you hammered. Eight <clears throat> percent alcohol. One of these will put this way. One of these, alcohol-wise, almost uh, one of these is two Miller Lights. Actually, there's three. Sure. They're actually the equivalent to three bottles in here, realistically. So, but uh, it's not too bad. It's good. I'd recommend it, I think. Yeah, I'd recommend it. So if you're at a, you know, one of the more popular beer stores, Binnie's or whatever, whatever you have by you, I don't know, uh, try it out, especially if you like Lambecks. It's a good Lambeck. You'd, you'll like it. It's a good... Apparently R2-D2 agrees. And R2 enjoys it as well. So... He wants a sip. 
that's a sh pretty short episode of the beer show. There's not much. Uh, there wasn't much information to find at the brewery, even though I mean it's been around so long. And uh, I can tell you, it got bought, it got acquired by Duvel Mortgat Brewery, and uh, they still produce beer under the Leifman, Leifman's name, Leifman's name. So that's good. But uh, if you like Glambex, try it out. Uh, cheers. Keep drinking.